is a refreshment to our souls. We are thirsty, Jesus. We are thirsty, Lord. We worship you and we thank you, God. We worship you and we thank you, Jesus. Your word, Jesus, your presence, your spirit, your waters, God, our medicine to our souls, God, our strength to our bodies, to our minds, and through to our souls, Jesus. You are the living water. You are the living source of those living waters, Lord, that flow out of our our inner man, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, we need you. We need your strength. We need you, Lord. We bless you. We honor you and we worship you, God. It is time now to open our eyes, Lord. It is time now to open our ears, God. Spiritual eyes and spiritual ears, Jesus. We want to see you, God. We want to hear you, Lord. We want to get it right. We want to get it right, God. We want an alignment, Jesus Christ, with your voice. We want an alignment with your word, with your intentions, with what you are doing, God. Nor what we want only, Jesus. But you know best and you know better. Open our spiritual ears for understanding, Lord. We ask you, Holy Spirit, we need you, Lord. We need you, Jesus. We need you, Father. We bless you and we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We desire nothing, Lord, but your perfect will in our lives. We desire nothing, Lord, but your favor in our lives. We desire your hand, God, when your hand
Father, as the frog king in your river of life, new life, restoration, and all that you have. You still call us to repentance. I've been hearing repentance. Repent. As a continuation from last week, lay it down on the altar. We say, oh God, oh God, we're in such a dilemma. We want to do your will. We're desperate to do your will. And all I can say is, we're willing to become willing. You just covered us in your love and washed us clean. And you say, these things you need to lay down because what you have can't mix with what I have. I haven't come empty handed for you. My arm is not too short. My arm is not too short. I am still your savior. And I will save you every hour of the day. Every moment you need saving, I will be there. Such a loving father you are. Not only do you say, I command this of you, but you create an atmosphere that we become willing to be obedient. That you envelop us with your love. And like I said, that you create an atmosphere to walk us through. We open the door and we say, Lord, we don't even have to say, Lord, because you're at the threshold. All we have to do is open the door and you're there. And you take us by the hand and you say, come with me. It will be okay. It will be all right. Thank you. Thank you, precious Jesus. Thank you. That you there is no shortage of your blood. There is no shortage of your blood. You say, come to the secret place and cleft of the rock. For I desire to hear your voice. So we can just be together. Just be together. I desire to be in your presence.
Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for those rivers, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It is only by the Spirit of God that our ears can be open to hear. It is only by your Spirit. Only the Father gives it to us, we can hear and understand. This is not by mind, no by power, no by our strength or knowledge. It is by your Spirit, Jesus, that you bring us to the place to position us, Lord, for all the blessings, for all the promises, for all the good things that you have in store for us and plan for our lives before the foundation of the world. Open our ears to hear Jesus. Open our eyes to see. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We depend completely on you, Lord Jesus. We depend completely on the power of your Spirit. exactly what we need he knows exactly what we need we may be asking like the beggar that was lame give me silver and give me gold to survive today that's my need and that's my wish I extend my hand for gold and silver but Peter and John, they saw him and say, it's not what you need right now. We know what you need by the Spirit of God. Look at us. Stop looking at distractions. Stop fixing your eyes and hopes in silver and gold or in things that are not the priority of the kingdom. It's your soul. It's you to be dressed appropriate to receive what the heavens have for you. It's your heart. It is you that we desire to fulfill your purpose and promises and destiny. Look at us. Look at us now. Arise in faith. Arise and walk. Get up and walk. Get up and be who God made you to be. Not that disabled, lame person. You're tired to be there at the door just waiting for the gold and silver to arrive. But the Lord is saying, I have something more precious than gold and silver. I have gold purified by fire. And that is your faith that is tested. Like my son Abraham, he was tested and he became the father of faith because he obeyed me. He had the faith to say, 
not my way but your way not my will but your will there is clothes that you need of me and that's my love for you it's your identity that needs to be a reality in your life it's my law that you're accepted that I gave you my life it's my love that I want in your heart so that you can love with gentleness and compassion that you can love the way I love to lay my life down for the life for the sake of others it's the love that humbles oneself before the throne in humble adoration asking for God's help and intervention that's the closing and I say put an ointment in your eyes so that you can see and not be walking blinded and that's my wisdom by of me that I have much to give you I love you says the Lord I love you I love you you are my beloved. I love you. It is time to arise. To arise in my kingdom of righteousness, peace, and joy. And everything else, more than your needs, I will fulfill. And I will lavish you. It is time to walk in the real kingdom, in your real identity.
think that throughout all the universe, and when he breathes, he breathes out stars. And then he names them all by names. And throughout all the universe, the vastness, he's there. And to think this, that no place in this incredible universe, no matter what the theory is, there is nothing equivalent to how he made you. Nothing. Nothing is like the creation that he made, which is you. Nothing in the scripture is said, it is wonderfully and uniquely made, only you. The planets don't have that distinction. The stars don't have that distinction. He's speaking revelation to me right now. He says, only you were wonderfully and uniquely made. Everything else was breathed out and thought of, but you were uniquely and wonderfully made. It's the only thing in all creation he says that. So when I consider the moon and the stars that thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, or the son of man that you would even visit him? Oh my Lord. And you who were made lower than the angels and tempted with everything that we were ever tempted with. You understand. You understand everything. the stars that though their voice is not heard in the earth their evidence of it is seen that they praise you and that man is the only thing that is spoken of that was wonderfully and uniquely made and in that he said David I was knit in my mother's womb and was wonderful and uniquely made Father, nothing can say that. No being can say that. No part of creation can say that. something 
creative and authoritative tonight. Did I have any idea for this before I came in? Absolutely not. None whatsoever. But I'm supposed to go backwards in this, and I think perhaps how things were shared allows this to, to occur this way. It says that, that uh, there's a river of God and that it flows out and when it reaches the sea its waters are healed. And it hit me tonight that uh, there's something that maybe I haven't seen here before. How many of you know that when Jesus was talking to Nicodemus, he spoke to him as the Son of Man who was in heaven in the very self-same moment that he was speaking to Nicodemus, he was in two places at one time, at least, although, you know, if you look at the omnipresence of God, where was he? He was everywhere at that, at that moment. And, and yet he said to us, greater works will you do because I go to the Father and we are seated with him, right? In heavenly places, right? So we're right here, right now, and we're also seated with him in heavenly realms. And this sounds weird, but I'm just going to tie this together in a minute here, but how many know that we were also with him before the foundation of the world? So there's a place now that this man walked and he walked out and the water was measured to his ankles and it was measured to his thighs or hip and then it was measured over his head and, and then this water, this river became so great that it flowed out to the sea and healed the waters of the world. It's the same river that when the Lord returns, he stands on Moriah and there's a water that goes out to the to the to the great sea it goes down to the dead sea and it heals the waters of the world it's the same river and yet there's something about the source of that river that i didn't see before tonight it says then he brought me and this is ezekiel 47 then he brought me back to the door of the temple and there was water flowing from under the threshold of the temple toward the east from the front of the temple faced east, the waters was flowing from under the right side of the temple. Where's Jesus seated? At the right hand of the Father. Where are we seated? We're seated by we're seated with him in heavenly realms. What did Jesus say flows out of us? A river of water. <coughs> the healing waters. This, this is the water that flows out of us. That's in Ezekiel 47. It flows out of us because we're seated with Christ at the right hand of the Father with him. I just feel like we're supposed to activate this tonight. How many agree that we have that water flowing out of us? Oh my goodness, we have agreement. Two or three agree is touching anything. It shall be done by my Father in heaven. So there's a moment before the foundation of the world that we're seated in Christ and in him, this water that the man saw flowing out of the right side of the temple was water that was flowing from these streams that make glad the city of our God. Because there's a river that these streams all combine to make this city glad. And that's us. 
That's us. It's flowing from us. He decreed. I'm not making this stuff up. He said it. So I just, I want to do this prophetic act tonight. I want us to just stand. We're going to, I, I, I believe when we are meant to do prophetic acts, that we're supposed to do prophetic acts. And what I want to do tonight is something very evangelistic. I want us to shout. And maybe it shouts when there's a shofar blowing. I've, I've been taught that since I've been here. But I think what we're supposed to do in the name of the Lord is we're supposed to let the water flow. We're supposed to release that water. There's enough agreement in this room to release that water. Water that literally will heal the waters of the whole world. Do we have that kind of authority? I just heard that we were uniquely and wonderfully made. And I wasn't going to say anything until that activated it. I was like, this is really interesting, Lord. Maybe I'll bring it up sometime in the future. And the Lord said, no, right now. You're uniquely and wonderfully made. So, Father, we just agree with your word. We agree with your word that says that we have a fountain of living water that flows from the very essence of who we are. And it's a fountain that you created in us before the foundation of the world. It's that fountain that together flows from the right side of the temple where we are seated with the Lamb of God in heavenly places. And so, Father, we just thank you for that stream that flows out of us. As we walk through our daily life, Lord, let that stream flow from us and let it heal waters that flow out of others. Let it heal the waters that flow out of the land. Let it be life giving to the tree of life. Because it, it says that on the bank of that river these trees grow and their leaves are for the healing of the nation. And so Lord we thank you that you've made us ones who speak words of healing and deliverance and righteousness and peace. As sons and daughters of the Most High God, we are seated with you. And you yourself, Jesus, you said that we would do greater works. And we want to, this night, activate a greater work in your name. Because, Lord Jesus, you said that, he, that the Father loves us just as much as he loves you. And so, Father, we lift our hands and we thank you for this life-giving water. We release it this night, Lord. We speak to the north, to the south, to the east and the west and we release this water Lord Jesus we release this healing water that this world who Satan has tried so much to destroy we release the healing water this night we release it over this nation we release it over our families we release it over the stranger in the gate we release it over the sick and the infirm and the, the lame and the halt and the blind and the deaf and the dumb. We release this waters. We say, cancer, be exposed for the lie that you are. We are all created in your image. We are all fearfully and wonderfully made. And in you, we have life.
name of the Holy Spirit, we release these waters. And we thank you, Father, that no weapon formed against us prospers, and that every tongue that rises against your people is condemned. And silence. to the moon and the sun and the stars that you made because we have authority to speak into that realm as much as you do because you said we, we have that authority and so we take that authority this night we thank you that we are clothed in garments of righteousness and in our right hand is a scepter as well because we are in you and you are in us and together we are in the Father. And we thank you that all in one we declare victory. We declare victory in your kingdom. We declare victory into the realm of darkness. Let light shine wherever there is darkness. Expose the sins of evil men. Expose the darkness this night. Thank you, Father, that from this time forward, Lord, that you will heal the children will heal those who have been so despicably used in evil and in darkness. We ask you, Lord, that your spirit would flow into their hearts this night. Let your river flow. Let your river flow in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We declare these things in the blood covenant name of Yeshua, the King of kings and Lord of lords. Amen. said to kill that rumor because it's a lie. So we thank you for that, Lord. That you are the glory and lifter of our head. And that your glory is our rear guard. And that you go before us. And that the angels in heaven are camped around us in all of our situations with their swords drawn to go into battle. We, we assign and we release those angels the, 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 the angels that you withheld Lord so that you could go to the cross you give us authority and we take that authority now in Jesus name and we send forth Michael <laughs> Lord we send, we, we send forth all the legions of angels it is time to take the earth it is time to make this place that you created your footstool. We thank you, Lord. And we enter into that rest knowing that you have already accomplished it. In Jesus' name.
of the healing waters because Monday the Lord used me. Uh, I was in the laundromat and overheard these two women talking and one had said my arms falling asleep. Oh, sorry, falling asleep and all that and I couldn't help but overhearing. And So after they got done talking I just went up to her and said do you mind if I pray for you about healing your arms? Let the Lord heal it. And I prayed and uh, the Lord just healed her. She felt tingling and the wind on her, and the Lord healed her that day. Right so I just wow. want to confirm that the healing water has been released. All right? Let's praise the Lord. 